and that would have been what about bits and pieces of coming home. I don't um, like I couldn't walk. My father-in-law had to help carry me in in the house. Um, you know, Delray Hospital should have sent me or pushed me to a rehab, and instead um, they just kind of dumped me on my wife and said he's done. He'll, he'll get better. Um, Twenty-four hours later, I got rushed back to the hospital because she thought I was having a stroke or something, um, and I had S I think it's called S I A D H, um, which is I was drinking a gallon of water, peeing out an ounce, and I couldn't eat. Everything was everything. The brain was messed up, so. Um, I started mumbling and, and not being able to talk, so she thought I was having a stroke. Called 911, got me back into the hospital, and she said, we're not going back to Delray. Because um, she argued with them and said, he's being, he's getting worse, he's not getting better. And they said, no, he's, he'll get worse before he gets better. He's got to go home. Um, what then, hospital did you go to then? Bethesda Hospital. Where's Bethesda? Uh, Boynton Beach. Did they put you in a rehab unit or did they put you back in intensive care? Um, I don't know. They they didn't put me in intensive care, but the neurosurgeon um, had them do a bunch of tests and they figured out that I, that's what I had, the SIADH. So luckily I didn't have to, they didn't have to cut me open. They just said no water, you know, ice chips, and um, I spent another week in that hospital um, before they released me. 